Welcome back to Lessons of a Housewife. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Click the notification button to alert you for all my new content and streams. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. I had came across this clip. Just so happened to just pop up in my feed and I had to discuss this because this is an upcoming YouTuber who is a young mother, of course, uh, with two children two baby fathers and I guess she has a message about her livelihood to all other young women out here and I wanted to review this with you so enough what I got to say about it let's start the video and I woke up so I was like you know what let's just get it last night I was gonna do it but I went out with my friends we had a really good time we went to I think it's pronounced me cozy I don't know this ain't no free promo neither so I ain't even gonna go into that. But I got my nails done. Yeah. I wasn't getting my lashes, but that didn't happen. But I got my nails done by Aries. She the best in the city, y'all. She stay booked. I whip her information, but y'all might take my spot. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, as y'all can see by the title of the video, today we are going to be talking about why having more than one baby daddy is not the end of the world. Because trust me, some of y'all be going into stereotypes and having a whole heart attack. Trust me, sis, it's okay. So before we jump in the video, I just want y'all to know I reached 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers in about two days. Um, I'm really excited because to be honest, I enjoy putting out good videos. So I'm here to stay. And if you like them, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You hear it now. So go ahead and hit it because you're probably going to come back. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. One more thing. This video is for my girl watchers. Uh, I'm going to make videos for both sexes. But this one is mainly pertaining to the females. So if you're a dude... I appreciate you for clicking, so go on ahead and hit subscribe. You can stay to watch, but I'm going to let you know I'm talking to my, 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 my fellow sisters. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. First of all, I said baby daddy. I'm going to say baby father because I'm from New York, and a baby daddy, yeah, that's some irritating drive you up the wall type shit. But a baby father, you could say baby father and still... Be copacetic with a man. All right. So, number one. My first reason why I would say it's okay. Baby girl, you didn't give up on love. Like, give yourself a round of applause. Because most people, after their first relationship goes south. They do like, oh, they do shit. And, and like, for real, it don't even have to be that way. Like... Everybody can get along and, you know, just think that person wasn't for you, which. I'm going to pause it right here real quick. So obviously her first number one reason on having baby daddies is not the end of the world is that it shows, I guess, that you can love, that you're for love. Having multiple children with multiple men shows that you can love. This is her example. Let's listen and elaborate further. It's probably, you probably gonna run into a few people that are not for you. Like it's a whole bunch of people out here. But yeah, my number one reason is don't be mad because since you didn't give up on love, like a lot of people, they will stick with the one man, have multiple kids and don't even love that man. They be in a horrible relationship. So. This is the problem right here. So women that are actually in relationships with men that have the same father by this man that chose to stick in relationships with these men, they have the idea that this woman just can so happen not even love this man. That relationships that actually work has to have some form of hate behind it. But women with multiple children being in multiple relationships with different men shows that they can still love. That's the logic in what she's saying. It's 
okay to love multiple people and not really be committed in a relationship because it just shows that you you have the need for love that you you love you can love but people in relationships that actually work that chose to stick together for the benefit of the children and the structure might hate one another they're not happy in the relationships this is the point again of with the a happiness being an assumption of the prioritizing part of a relationship it's happier just sleeping around and having multiple children with different men it's not happy with two families work together when two people work together and actually choose their children over their feelings because feelings is just for a time period and not necessarily a lifetime let's continue good for you girl you moved on and you had a, a baby out of it oh well so you didn't give up on love and i feel like so you don't give up on love being that you couldn't keep a relationship you haven't got given up on love and having a baby out of it is just mm, it's just something Just, you don't even have to think about it twice. Hey, you know, you didn't give up on love. You could still love and having a child out of it is just, hmm, it is what it is. Because remember, the people that actually stuck together for the benefit of the children and the structure, you know, they hate each other. I'm going to keep letting her go. Let's continue this. That's great because choosing somebody, that wasn't a failed choice or a bad choice. Like I said, that person just wasn't for you. All right, reason number two. I'm gonna say number two because now nah, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna make that number three. <laughs> so reason number two, girl, you healthy. Like, say healthy for the girls in the back. She healthy, okay? <laughs> that means when she get it off, a baby gonna come out. <laughs> I mean. So her second reason number two of having baby daddies not being an issue is because you're healthy. You can actually have children. That's okay. You're giving birth, so you're healthy. Obviously, that's that's a plus. If you're having babies out of wedlock and just doing all types of things with men and having multiple children out of it, it just shows you're healthy. Let's continue. And girl, you don't know how many women can't have no kids. Or they be trying and trying and it, it just, you know, it ain't about to happen with that man. Like that could be the man who wanna have a baby with them or they wanna have a baby with, but it's not meant to be. So yeah, I mean, you healthy sis, you can have more than one baby by multiple sperms. Like that's all right, you a whole God. <laughs> my lord goodness okay so women are gods because they can actually do the name the one thing that we were built to do and it's even better if you do it with multiple men we're considered gods now if we could procreate with a bunch of men and have multiple children That's a superpower to these modern women. Even though it takes a freaking year to have one child. Well, as a man can have 20 women pregnant at once, they have 20 children within a year. Us women, we're gods though. We're gods because we can have children out of wedlock by multiple men. This is this woman's logic. Who, who knocked this woman up? Who knocked this woman up? Whoever her baby fathers are, shame on you. Shame on you. So her first reason is because you haven't given up on love. So it's okay to have multiple baby daddies and multiple children. And her second reason is because you're healthy. You can have a bunch of children as you want. And if it doesn't work out, it don't work out. You're a goddess because you can have children. 
These are her reasons. I'm highly upset with the men that chose this woman to bear their seed. We, are, we got to be more careful out here, brothers. We got to be more careful out here. Her children are going to be ruined with this type of mindset. Your seeds are going to be ruined with this type of mindset. Let's continue. All right. Now, reason number three. I'm a, I like this is number three. Girl, what Cardi say? Wet and gushy. Walk, Make that walk. pull out game. Wet Wee. and gushy. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, girl. That's why you, you got some of that walk, that W A G. <laughs> she saying shit. Beat it up. Extra large. Make a hook. Mm -mm. I don't know the words. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even know the chorus. But. Yeah, but you got that WAP. Ain't nobody about to keep messing around with somebody who got a whole bunch of kids if they ain't got some bomb ass pussy. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Number three is because, hey, you got a vagina down there that's attracting men. So obviously you're the bomb. That's what I heard out of this. And then play Cardi B as a reference. The black community is ruined by these types of mindsets of women. The black community is ruined by the types of mindsets that are out here like this. This is the reason why our communities are bad or at its worst right now. Number three is because you have a WAP. And if you're attracting men with it, even with multiple children, and obviously it's got to be good. Not the logical reason that being that you have multiple children by multiple men, it gives the guys the clearest green flag on being able to have intercourse with you because they can see you're giving it up and you're open to it. Nope, not, not, that, not that reality factor there. It's the fact that because you're attracting men with it, and you have the children and obviously it's gotta be the bomb, right? There's that whole special thing again. And women claim that they have, that we're just so special to men. There's something about us. We're not considered special if we're in real strong, deep relationships and we chose to put our children over our feelings. And we chose to put our husbands first over what we, this whole idea that we can do better without them. Women like that can't be looked at as special. No, a wet AP is way more special because it keeps attracting men. That is the attention they thrive on. They thrive on penises getting thrown at them. Like this is their currency. If a penis is keep, keeps getting thrown at me, I'm valued in some way. This is the sad reality of these young girls out here. And these women are raising children. They are raising children. She is proud to be a street thought. She has no shame in the multiple baby daddies because she hasn't given up on love. She has no shame in her actions because she's considered healthy being that she can breed, even though the majority of us can too. And the third reason is because, hey, men still keep coming to me. So obviously I'm special in some way. You cannot make this stuff up, people. She is raising children. If she's raising girls, this is the route they would choose. If she's raising boys, oh, they won't be boys. They'll be little suckers. Let's listen. Let's go ahead and listen to the next reason. I'm just saying. <laughs> you ever heard somebody messing around with somebody who got like five kids and they like, it's trash? Because I know we all be seeing that girl walking down the street with like five kids and 
they multiple colors and we looking at them like <laughs> but really we don't why are we judging don't judge because like i said that girl is healthy she ain't give up on love and she probably got some wop y'all already know <laughs> all right so my next reason we're gonna go to number four girl don't don't think don't think you're stupid because you're not and don't try to play my sisters who got more than one baby that they like their baby father like they dumb because she not don't worry sis you ain't uneducated about birth control and it's not that you don't know who your baby daddy is so and you ain't trying to get rich off of child support so who gonna stop you what like uh uh, my head hurt just trying to trying to understand that. Okay, so um, so you're not trying to get rich on child support. That's a point. Okay, what else are you doing this for? Just just to do it, I guess. Just to do it. You're not uneducated in birth control, so you're out here just to do it. Um, you if you know who your baby father's is, you just out here just to do it. Like what? 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 Is this a reason to actually do it? I haven't really heard anything yet that was really giving me a clue on how this is not the end of the road for baby mamas. Choosing this route is not the end of the road. Her video is titled, it doesn't end from here being a baby mama. Like it's not bad or some, some sort. I will put the description of the video in the link below. But so far, all I've heard was you can have children so you're healthy that's a plus you have a wap hey if you're attracting men with this wap obviously it's the bomb and you haven't given up on love girl obviously because you've been out there doing it so you haven't given up you keep going out there and trying to try it again and you get knocked up again and you go up back out there and you try it again and you got knocked up again hey that's just the effects of things it's okay don't need to learn anything from that. It just means that you haven't given up on love. And if you know your baby daddies and you're, you know birth control and you, I don't even remember the last reason it's so idiotic. If you know your baby daddies and you know you're giving up birth control and oh, you're not trying to get rich on child support then what, you know, just what are you talking about what is what is uh, i don't i'm trying to calm down here i'm at a total loss on what her point is trying to understand it even without a bias you know opinion of already where my mind sits at which is really hard because what you're aware of the nonsense you really stick to the code of what your knowledge is and sad truth about it is they're indoctrinated into this mindset so they're stuck to this type of code they can't be pulled out of it they can't to where they have no real reasons as to why it's good she has no real reasons as to why it's good but she is trying to validate that it's okay to other women. The black community is done for. She has to be pretty young. She has to be. And she has the ego strong enough to get on a YouTube and explain how pretty much nothing on how it's good to be a baby mama, it's not the end of the road for you. With no real answers as to why. This is sad, this is sad to watch. And what is crazy is like she says, she gained a hundred subscribers within a couple of days. Her channel's still pretty small. She still doesn't even have up to 500 subscribers yet, but it's growing. And what's crazy is this video almost got 2000 views. Almost 2,000 views. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> 
do you, girl? And my bad, I keep seeing my gray sweatpants. I had like a little skirt on last night. Yeah, your girl fell asleep in her clothes. It was that kind of night. <laughs> but at the back to the day, yeah, girl, like, just because people got multiple baby mamas, they ain't dumb. They know about the birth control. They probably ain't trying to get rich off of that man on some child support. So, yeah, it just happens. So, don't feel like you stereo the stereotypes. Don't take them, don't take them to heart. Because if you like me, I'm going to tell you my situation after we get done. <laughs> so, that brings you to that's the problem. Don't take it to heart. Don't take your decisions to heart. Don't be the stereotype. If people want to call you a stereotype, just don't even take it to heart. It's not that serious. No shame. No guilt. No accountability. Hey, if it just happens, it just happens. Just you go ahead, do you. It's okay. It just happens. You know, you got a WAP and you're healthy and you're, you know, you... Haven't given up. Keep going out there and do it again until you have like 20 children with 20 different men. And you know what? It just shows you still haven't given up. And your vagina is still good. It's still healthy enough to keep popping out babies. Unfreaking believable. The fathers of her children had to have seen some flags in this girl. Y'all had to have. If y'all ever come across this video, please tell me your stories. Email me the stories and let me know what the heck was going on in your mind with this one. And she ain't the only one. There's plenty of them out there that think this way. There's some that actually mathematically now do this, this type of stuff on purpose. They're not making these false excuses for it. They know what they're doing. Let's continue. My next reason, you was trying to build a life with a man and it fell through. Sis, that's okay, it happens. And even though it fell through, that don't mean your life is over. Like, if people wanna talk about you like, oh, she got another baby daddy. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that on YouTube, but F them for real, because ain't nobody about to be stuck waiting around on somebody trying to act like they love them and it ain't working. Like if it ain't working, it ain't working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just move. What? Like what? What? Okay. So it's okay to have a child by a man that you're not even sure that you are going to even be sticking with. That's what you're saying. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So what? You see how there's nothing mentioned about these children? There's nothing mentioned about these kids. About what's happening with the kids. This is all just of them. What they feel is right. If it ain't working, it ain't working. If it's broke, don't fix it. Or whatever the heck she said. That didn't even make sense. That doesn't even correlate to the thing. To what she's even trying to say. Like. I'm at a, such a disappointment. With black culture. With black women. With the community. With this whole society. They walk around here thinking it's okay to be in such, in the most devastating position a child has to be raised in. And it's okay. Why? Because they are not thinking of the children in these situations. They are always thinking of themselves. Being a baby mama ain't the end of the road. You think she would have mentioned some things? Well, look, this is the things that happens. You, you, your kids love you and, you know, uh, maybe you'll have to share their love. Something that has to do with it being more on the, the idea of the baby mom, the mother with the children. No, it's all selfish. It's all selfish things. Hey, you got a WAP. You got a wet AP. You healthy so you can pop out as many as you want, girl. You are still looking for love and you desire love and you out there still trying to get love and you didn't give up on love. 
and you ain't out here really trying to trying to be on some crazy mess even though this is all the crazy mess that we out here doing you're not really trying to be on some crazy mess so what's the problem in it this is all i'm hearing it don't make sense let's move on move on stop playing with that toy <laughs> for real and then last but not least what if you get with somebody who want a baby and you already got a baby what you gonna do just not have no babies like that could be a deal breaker trust me don't base your what so okay out of all the things that could have been a flies and deal breakers where you didn't have to put yourself in a position to be a baby mother. You consider a deal breaker for a man, the opportunity for another man to have the option to have kids with you if he decides to want to have kids with you. After taking on the burden of all these other man's children, you're going to give him that. So don't look at it as any of your choices bad because remember, you're healthy. You could pop out babies. You're a goddess, remember? So when you do meet the one that you finally think that you actually deserve and he wants children just pop out more because it could be a deal breaker for that relationship that's when you really need to start caring whether you have children or not that's when you need to start caring after you had so many that the next guy that comes along that might want some hey you have to give it to him You're a goddess. Black community is doomed. It angers me just listening to this woman. We are doomed. have the nerve to be mad when other people look at us the exact way we act we want to call out certain names and say that this person is that and that person is that when they call us on our bs when they point it out this woman is beyond sad a lot of life off of everybody else and what people think because they ain't the ones in your house they ain't the ones in love and they ain't the ones that feeding these kids <laughs> so yes ma'am if you want to have some more children do you okay so like as far as me because you know i'm gonna be transparent and i want y'all to know me and i want to know y'all as far as me i have two kids two baby fathers so one you know is not currently allowed to walk around <laughs> and the other one we cool we co-parent but that's the first one i'm talking about we co-parent but i don't want to be with him so we're not gonna be together making more kids so i would say my daughter got to be about six seven i think she was seven when I have my other baby because I was just like, I'm tired of waiting. Like, uh, my daughter about to be out here alone. Like, nah. So I met another man and I was like, look, I want another baby. And he was cool. Like, I want another baby too. So boom, bada boom. Yeah. So it wasn't like on no ho stuff, on no slut stuff, on no one night stand stuff. And if it is, that's, I'm not judging you. Please don't take that I'm judging you. That just wasn't me. But yeah, I want another baby. So now my kids is like, big old gap. But it is what it is. So. So. Let me get this straight. One of her children's fathers is locked up. The second ch child's father, she had a child by. And it was just because she just wanted a child. There was no relationship involved, I'm guessing, if that's what she's explaining. And she was like, hey, I want a child. And he said, I want one too. And hey, you know, they just had a child.
And this is more love to her than the marriages that might have some unhappiness, but yet stuck together and raised their children together. This is more love. You just want kids, you just have the kids. You just go out there and just get the kids. Just just get pregnant and get the kids, you know? They need structure for it. Nobody's in your home and caring about what you do because nobody's feeding these kids. The first time she's ever even mentioned kids is when it came down to having to feed them and, and do something for them. Well, nobody else is doing it, so don't let them in your business, do you? Because remember, you got kids. If you care about them or not, you know, you got to feed them. Oh, that that thing you got to do as a mom. Nobody else is doing it for you. So don't worry about what they're saying. This is more love to her. This is this makes more sense. And maybe the couples out here that don't live just off of happiness, but live off of duty, live off of structure. A husband and wife that's willing to stick together and push aside certain feelings that die off anyway within time to prioritize their roles and their children. That's not real love, no. What love is, is that you keep going out there and trying for it, that you have a wet AP for it, that you're healthy enough to keep breathing for it, and just do what you want to do. You cannot make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. And another thing, I'm so tired of these animated characters out here getting pregnant. These women are so animated, so animated. Like personalities are just always over the top. Can never really just speak they have no real personalities they've just they've been watching social media and entertainment so much they've taken on these false idols characters and traits and personalities and they think that it's okay why do they think men like this i have no idea because i haven't seen not one man stick with a woman who has these types of traits and this is why she does not have a husband but yet men keep sleeping with her. And she's gonna keep opening her legs because to her, she believes she is loved this way. She believes she is more important this way. She believes having kids this way is, is just what it's supposed to be. This is real love because people keep coming back to a WAP. I get way more attention. I get way more Peter. So I overrule the family dynamic of things. But I'm not no whore. I'm not out there doing one night stand sleeping. What the heck are you doing then? You just saying, if you want to go out there and if the relationship don't work, then go out there and get pregnant and then let it be. And, and if that don't work and you're pregnant, let it be. And if, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Just let it be. So what are you out there doing if you're not doing that? If you're not in the 304 realm of things, why are you out here doing all of this then? I just wanted a baby and I just found somebody and he wanted a baby too. And we just had a baby and it's okay. All right, let's finish this off. Yes. Now that was a little about me, but don't worry. I'm going to be back with some more tea, but yeah, if you can relate and you got more kids, more than one baby father, baby daddy, Leave it in the comments because I want to know if I'm not the only one out here having multiple baby fathers. And that's the end of the clip that I have for you guys right there. That's where I cut it. And that's where I'm going to end it because then she just ranted on boosting her channel. Who cares? But um, obviously she's not the only one out here. Obviously, if you 
really did your research and you studied, you would see that this has been a problem for some time now. And that the majority of the black community has this issue where kids are actually being raised without fathers on the regular, that they make it the norm. So no, you're not the only one out here doing it. There's plenty of other women out here on YouTube that's probably saying the same thing. You can talk to them. Trust me, you'll run across them. Probably just stepping outside your door. It's not rare. What you're not doing is special. Those kids are not going to have a future. I feel sorry for the children more than I feel sorry for the men that picked her and for you telling me this bull crap of a story on how you think that this is not the end of the road. This really sounds like the end of the road because now all you are is a breeder. You're just a breeder. You're the woman that the king used to have on the side when he left his queen after she was nurturing the, 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 the prince or the princess to go and have some more kids because she had to heal. You're a breeder. You're the brothel chick that the men come from war from after doing all of their pillaging and conquering that would just get, get a load off of them by using you. But you want to consider that love. This was one of the most saddest yet annoying yet. Just idiotic, unrealistic videos I have watched out of anything that I have watched. And boy. My husband sends me a lot of content that he would love me to review and I just haven't haven't started many of them just yet. It's in the works, but I had to bring this up immediately. I had to bring this one up immediately because this woman really out here living this delusion that wet AP makes them above wives and families. That having vaginas that can just breed shows that you're healthy. Nothing else. Nothing else shows you health. No, I mean, you could have diseases and you could be passed on diseases to other men. And maybe you can even give birth to children with diseases. And there's a lot of sicknesses that's coming out here today on all types of things that's happening with children that could be the cause of this. But nope, that's that's not the case. Because you are able to just push out a baby, your vagina is healthy. That's what they consider healthy for vaginas. Okay. And not only that, you haven't given up on love. You're not out here trying to really three or four around. You just, if it didn't work, it didn't work. And if it cracked, then you didn't want to fix it. So you just went on about your way. Nothing for the children. Nothing mentioned about the children. Nothing concerning the children in these situations. Just do you boo. Their motto, their slogan, all they care about is themselves. These are the women you cannot save. Because obviously she thought it through to where she had to make a video on how it's not considered bad. So she's heard that it is. And like she said, that you shouldn't be, don't listen to the stigma. Or don't listen to the, be, the, the statistics behind it. And everybody trying to say that it is bad because it's not. So obviously she's heard it's the negative traits of this. And she's trying to validate that it's not bad. These are the women that you can't change. These are the women that are long gone for the streets. And as she is proud of it the most, that's where she will remain to be. And I end my video on that note. What do you guys think? Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button to alert you for all my new content and streams coming soon. Please support all my content with the description links in the box below. And as always, I thank you all for watching.